Russia's using Iranian drones in Ukraine largely because it's running out of its own weapons. Um, they originally started the campaign eight months ago, fully expecting just to walk into Ukraine without any fighting at all. Then they tried to take Kiev with a 40-mile convoy of lots of their weapons. That didn't work. They've now been involved in eight months of bloody fighting using um, huge amounts of guided weapons, and they're running out of their stocks. And um, what's really strange about the, uh, the drones being used is they're not Russian drones, they are um, Iranian drones. Secondly, they are not targeting military targets. These are all targeting the civilian targets. It's the energy infrastructure. And it's very reminiscent of World War II when the uh, doodlebugs were flying around. They're terrorizing the population rather than actually uh, helping further Putin's military war aims. So these drones are being fired out of Crimea, um, mainly because that's a sort of safe zone for firing at, and that's where the Iranian uh, military expertise is helping them with their support and operational effectiveness of them. But they're targeting across the whole of Ukraine. They are pretty slow, actually. They are about three meters by three meters wide, so they're not very large machines. They fly just over 100 miles an hour, so they're quite vulnerable. They've got a huge range. They're launched from Crimea. They can cover every corner of Ukraine. They're very vulnerable to uh, ground fire, so if you fire a gun or throw bullets up in the air, you can certainly take them out. But they fly a lot of them, so they launch five or more at a time and try to swamp uh, defences. The targets they're being used against, they've only got about 45 kilogram warhead, which is, it's a lot of explosive, but it's not big by military uh, standards. It's about a tenth of the size of the, of the charge we'd normally have in one of our thousand pound bombs. But because these um, drones are GPS targeted, they can be very accurate with where they hit and they have caused a lot of damage. And I say at the moment, they're targeting uh, Ukrainian energy infrastructure across the whole country and have taken between 30 and 40 percent of the infrastructure they've successfully hit. There's been a big explosion in the uh, use of drones in military warfare. Part of the challenge of course is that they, um, so when I was flying military jets myself over Afghanistan, if you want to see pattern of life, if you want to track targets, you often have to be up for several hours in a row. And uh, first of all, the aircraft hasn't got enough fuel to stay up that long, and another is the pilot's bladder um, can, can last that long. Aeroplanes themselves are 100 million pounds a time. Uh, there are not very many of them. They're very vulnerable to ground fire, so you don't really want to use your military air assets. Whereas drones, for around about $20,000, uh, and with the billions of dollars that Putin is making with his oil revenue at the moment, buying loads of these drones is really simple. Maybe only 20% of them get through, so 80% are targeted. But if you launch enough of them, you are going to hit some targets, and that's exactly why they're being used uh, in Ukraine at the moment.